One well-known Jackson location will soon see some improvements to its infrastructure. 12 News' Tia McKenzie joins us now with the details on some changes coming to Thalyamara Hall. Tia? That's right, Melanie, from Dancing with the Stars and Golden Girls to Swan Lake Ballet and Kevin Hart. There are an array of events planned in the coming months, but there is one slight issue. Sold out shows in the city with sold. Last night I had a meeting with city officials and I had another one this morning and I'm, I left feeling very confident that things are being done as fast as humanly possible to remedy the problem. Accessibility at Thalia Mara Hall has caused a slight problem for those with disabilities. Built in 1968, the building still has the original elevator inside. Parts for it are no longer produced, and so whenever we have a malfunction, um, it requires a, a little bit of a different approach. Arden Barnett is the president of the Mississippi chapter of the National Independent Venue Association and says the issue has been bandaged far too long, but they're coming to a resolution. There has to be a bid process and stuff. It's a, it is a city facility, so it has to go through that and city council approval. But I don't, I don't, I'm told there, it, there's no barriers in place. I think everybody is on the same page that this is this is a lifeline to downtown Jackson. The replacement elevator will cost between two to three hundred thousand dollars. We have not had any issues, uh, no ADA complaints or, or um, occurrences. And, um, you know, so we're just working double time to get the elevator fixed so that we can kind of resume our regular ADA uh, centered operations. City officials say they do have a long-term plan, which includes new HVAC systems, escalators, and exterior improvements. And leaders also say the preservation of Thalia Mara Hall is an essential part of keeping Jackson beautiful, vibrant, and full of soul. Tia McKenzie, 12 News.